friends. Welcome to another hand embroidery tutorial of Minute Made Needle Craft. In this video, we will guide you step by step on creating a beautiful embroidery featuring a woman with a wool cap and flowing hair. The first step is to transfer the design onto fabric. Then choose the threads in various colors of your choice. I choose these colors. We begin with making the cozy wool cap first, then outlining the woman face and continue embroidering the flowing hair. As you can see in the design, we have three parts in cap. Bottom part, middle part, and a top part. We are using chain stitch to fill the middle part, then satin stitch for bottom part and the top part is a pom-pom. Let's start with middle part using chain stitch. Like the name suggests, chain stitch creates a series of linked loops resembling a chain. These are the steps to follow on chain stitch. Bring the needle up through the fabric from the backside at the starting point of your chain stitch. This will be your first anchor point. Insert the needle back into the fabric at the same point where you started, but do not pull it all the way through. Leave a small loop of thread on the surface of the fabric. Insert the needle back into the fabric a short distance away from the first stitch. The length of this stitch determines the size of the loop you want to create. Hold the loop with your non-dominant hand to keep it in place while pulling the thread tight to anchor the loop down. Bring the needle up through the fabric from the back, inside the loop you just created. Make sure the needle passes through the loop as it comes up. Pull the thread gently to tighten the loop and create a chain-like stitch. To create the next chain stitch, insert the needle back into the fabric a short distance away from the previous stitch, in the direction you want the chain to go. Bring the needle back up through the fabric, inside the loop, and pull the thread gently to form the next chain stitch. Repeat creating chain stitches along the desired path or shape. If you want to end the chain, secure the last stitch by passing the needle through the loop before pulling the thread tight. You can then bring the needle to the backside of the fabric and secure it with a knot or weave it under nearby stitches. Now let's move to the bottom part of the cap using satin stitch. Start with satin stitch by bringing the needle up through the fabric at one end of the area you want to fill. Take the needle back down through the fabric at the opposite end of the area, creating a straight stitch. Bring the needle back up through the fabric, but slightly to one side of the initial stitch. Take the needle back down through the fabric close to the ending point, on the opposite side of the initial stitch. This creates a straight stitch parallel to the first one. Continue stitching parallel straight stitches, working closely together and keeping them even until the area is completely filled. Repeat this stitch throughout the design. Now we can create a pom-pom to this cap. For pom-pom making, first wrap the yarn until it becomes thick and full. Once you've wrapped enough yarn, attach the pom-pom to the cap embroidery. Sew the pom-pom securely to embroidery by stitching through the fabric several times and knotting the thread at the back. Use sharp scissors to cut through the loops all the way around the bundle. After cutting, the pom-pom will likely be uneven. Trim it carefully to create a round and symmetrical shape. Trim small amounts at a time to avoid cutting off too much. After finishing the cap, now we can outline the face using backstitch. I also used satin stitch to complete the lip. Backstitch is great for outlining shapes. As you can see here, to make backstitch, bring the needle up through the back of the fabric at the starting point of your line. Decide on the stitch length we want for the backstitch. 
push the needle down through the fabric at this point. Bring the needle up through the fabric behind the previous stitch. This will create a small backward stitch. Continue the process by moving ahead along the line to our desired stitch length and then going back the same distance behind the previous stitch. Each time we bring the needle up, it should be in line with the ending point of the previous stitch. Repeat the process until we complete the shape we are outlining. For lip, used satin stitch, which I already explained while making the cap. Now we can start embroidering the hair. Begin stitching from the bottom of the hairline. Insert the needle from back to the front at the starting point of the hairline. Insert the needle back into the fabric very next to the starting point, while keeping the floss as desired hair length on top of the fabric as shown here. Repeat this process until the area is completely filled. To add dimension and texture, consider blending different shades of embroidery floss. Once the hair embroidery completed, use sharp scissors to cut through the loops all the way and trim the hair to get the desired shape. We now finished embroidering of this beautiful woman with flowing hair and cozy wool cap. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring embroidery tutorials. Thank you for watching and happy stitching!